welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name is Leah and I am all about spending less and creating more and sharing with you how you can do the same thing in your kitchen. I just pulled into Walmart. I'm going to head in there and grab some food for week five of our low spend grocery budget challenge. I actually have some really dear friends coming in to spend a couple of days with us. So I'm really excited to be able to pick up some things that I know they're going to enjoy. So their three children along with my two kids. We're just so excited to have a house full of people, all the children, all the things, and I wanna get some good snacks. Of course, you can check out week one, two, three, and four of our hauls, the meal plans, and some of our cook with me's for dinners and snack ideas. All of that will be down in a playlist in the description box, so you can check that out. Don't miss any of the things that we've already done. And in the description box, I'll also have the list of what we have spent. So let's get shopping. One thing to keep in mind no matter what grocery store you're shopping at is to check the actual price per unit on items. Sometimes it's worth it to get the bigger product, while other times it's actually more expensive, believe it or not. So this time I am going to get the large half and half, but it doesn't always work out that way. You can also check on here the sugar content. I was really curious. There's nine added sugars to this chocolate peanut butter kind. And then you get the honey nut ones and there's actually 12 sugars and they're all added sugar. That's for 41 grams of cereal. This is for 36 grams of cereal. So pretty close um, by the time you make up the difference in the amount of cereal itself so i'm gonna go with this also gotta get some of these lucky charms we're gonna go with this mega box 478 not too bad of course cereal is expensive but definitely tastes better than the great value one and i want to get some granola bars for the kids too i thought about doing something like this that has some more protein um but i don't know yet we still have some of these at home from big bag from costco these look so good too dessert. <laughs> I think this is the one Weston likes. There's four grams of protein, so not as much, but I think this is the kind he likes, the sweet and salty. And nobody complained about the other barbecue sauce last time. I'm going to get this honey barbecue from Great Value. The price of apples at Walmart seems high to me. I know Honeycrisp are usually more expensive, but even Granny Smith were more expensive than these Gala. So I went with that. moment of truth did I stay under budget for this month um, I did buy some things that I would not have done if I was wanting to be very strict and stay to the budget absolutely had to so I picked up some things that were extra fun that 
totally did not need to be purchased, but I love hosting. I love having extra sweet, fun, good things around. So spent extra that way and it's all good in the end. I think that's one of the big reasons why I like to spend less and create more. So one week we may spend way less and the next week we are able to spend extra, whether it's by purchasing things for a food bank, buying something for somebody, taking care of somebody's dinner bill, bringing a meal to them whenever they're not feeling well. All of those things are really important to me in life. So that is a really big reason why I like to save money when I can. And the really awesome thing is that I was able to do extra this month even during a budget challenge. So huge win for us. I'm so excited about how this month went. So let's get home. I'm gonna share with you exactly what we picked up and what's on the meal plan for the next week. So here is $103.53 worth of groceries that I picked up for my family of four plus some visiting family. So after this week's grocery haul, it puts us $16.25 for our budget challenge month. So I think that that is pretty fantastic. Here, starting with some of our treats, of course. Uh, this was Dakota's one request this week. I got him the Chester's hot fries. And then I also picked up some Pringles. Like I said, we're gonna have some friends and family in. My kids love these. I feel like everybody loves Pringles, right? Once you pop, you just can't stop. So is that what it's called? With Lay's, what is it? Like the Lay's chips, it's, bet you can't eat just one. And I think Pringles is once you pop, you just can't stop. I think that's what it is. So I picked up the cheddar and sour cream, sour cream and onion. I think those are two pretty popular flavors. I also got some more of the Smart Pop 100 calorie bags, and I did that in kettle corn this time. There's 12 bags in here. It's a pretty great price, considering I don't have to worry about measuring butter and figuring out how to do all of the flavor with less fat somehow. So got this one already pre-done. I also picked up these hash brown patties. Um, I love having these for breakfast. Weston loves them as well. We just stick them in the air fryer for I think nine minutes. So good, so crispy and delicious. I picked up some stir fry vegetables as well. These ones have the snap peas and I love that. So I did spend a little bit extra on these frozen vegetables, but it's worth it to me. We have snap peas, broccoli, green beans, squash, peppers, carrots, and water chestnuts. So I love those. So that's gonna be going with a dinner this week as well as the spaghetti. I just got the one pound box this time. I'm going to make a triple batch of my marinara. I'm not gonna put meat in it this time, but just the marinara. So I got the tomato sauce. I also got Italian style petite diced tomatoes. Those are both very large cans. Use that for dinner. We're going to use the honey barbecue sauce for dinner this week and the Asian style chili sauce. I don't know if I'm gonna do this with our dinner or just with some of my lunches because I like to have grilled chicken or shrimp throughout the week. So um, I'm out of shrimp, but I do have salmon. So that'll be really good on that. I picked up some romaine hearts. This is just a really good organic lettuce that we're going to use for some sandwiches, some Caesar salad. I also picked up my favorite cucumber. This will be a good addition to our lunches or for some salads. The clementines or mandarins. I never remember what these technically are, but the little halos or cuties, California mandarins. So I got this. And so again, the really large bag, um, that they did have a really large bag. This is the smallest of the two. So it's like $4 and something. And then lots of bananas this week. We're having three extra kids in the house, plus myself and my children, we love bananas. So I got lots of those. Raspberries again, of course. And then the gala apples were the ones that were the cheapest. Hi. Hi. So I know Dakota loves the honey crisp apples, but I knew I was splurging on other items. So. I picked up the Gala, so that way they're still a sweet apple, they're not the Granny Smith, and they actually were cheaper than Granny Smith. So, um, went with those this week. And then some lunch meat, I figured we might end up wanting some sandwiches while they're here, and then if they don't want it, we can always, of course, use it next week for ourselves. But we'll do some thin roast beef. I also got the thin turkey breast, and some bologna, which Weston loves bologna, he hasn't had it in a long time, so. Plenty of deli meat, and then I bought two different kinds of loaf bread, like sandwich bread or toast bread. This is um, something the kids enjoy for their peanut butter sandwiches. The kids like this kind of bread, they don't really care, but I prefer this one. And I actually do like this one better than the Kroger version as well. The Sara Lee Artisano is my favorite. 
And then I got the buns. I just picked up some regular great value hamburger buns. They're pretty soft. So we'll use these for our burgers this week. And I needed some cream cheese for our bagels that I'm making while my friends are here. And then I'm also making some cream cheese frosting for a carrot cake that I just finished baking this morning. So I went with the two pack on that, the full gallon of 2% milk while everyone's here. Um, I do have some more milk in my freezer, but I wanted to make sure that I served our family friends some regular unfrozen milk, <laughs> just in case they are sensitive to the taste of it. We are not, but not everybody feels the same way. So I bought a whole gallon of milk. I got the fat-free Fairlife again, of course, my favorite, one of our staples. And then since I started making Dakota's coffee cream, he really likes it. And since it's worth it to us, I went with the really large container of half and half because that now I'll be able to make quite a bit of the coffee cream for him. And it's a this is a half gallon of the half and half. So we'll have that for a while. I got some juice for the kids. This is the white cranberry strawberry. I almost did the little individual things of juice, but figured we'll use this. I've got cups with lids, so we'll be fine. And then some orange juice for breakfast, as well as um, for like this mocktail that I'm gonna try to make for myself next week. So I've got orange juice. This, I think, is this your favorite kind? The sweet and salty one? I think so. Okay, because this one has the peanuts. You like the peanut ones? I tried it and I don't think I liked it. Not the peanut ones? No, I, I like the other kind. The almond? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Well, hopefully you'll enjoy these ones because I got 12 in here. Oh. You'll be okay? Mm, probably. Probably? I don't know. Okay. I got those. And then this is chocolate peanut butter Cheerios. What do you think about that? I haven't tried it yet. Well, I think it looks really good. Mm -hmm. So, you know what would be really good is if you put a banana in that. You can slice up a banana and have that in your cereal. Uh, chocolate, peanut butter, and banana. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. All right. And then the mega box. Mega box of Lucky Charms. So this is one pound, 13 ounces. It's almost two pounds of cereal. Wait, there's a code on the back. A code? Well, it, it's like it's unscrambled like a sandwich. Oh, oh okay. Uh, so you can go ahead and do that. So that is everything for this week. We're going to move on into our meal plan. Oh, before I do, I wanted to show you this. I went over to Dollar General. I grew up with these little ice cream containers when I was little. There's four different colors here. You can't. The lighting is terrible. You can't tell really that these are two different colors, but this one's more of a teal, that's blue. And then they all have their spoons. When I was little, I like to mix and match the colors of the spoons, but this was something that I grew up having. And when I saw them, I was so excited. So if you would like to have these, these are from Dollar General. I paid one, the sticker's not on there because I took the packaging off, but they were $1 for each set. And these were the only colors I saw. I wonder if you could see the color difference black. You can see the color difference a little bit. Anyway, it's, there's more of a color difference in person, but just thought they were so cute. I was so excited to find those and they were only a dollar each. The theme for this week's meal plan is just super simple. I'm going to have some frozen chicken, chicken nuggets and vegetables, chips, things like that for Sunday dinner. Don't have to cook anything really, just stick it in the air fryer. Monday, I'm going to do some pasta with some marinara sauce. I'm going to have that homemade, but everything else is already cooked. So um, I'll have to make the marinara sauce from scratch and boil some pasta, but we'll do some chicken from the freezer or some pepperoni, depending on whatever the kids want, Dakota wants. I'll have chicken with mine. And then Tuesday, I'm going to make some pork chimichangas. I'm going to pull out a pork loin from the freezer and then just roll that up, put them in the air fryer. I wanna do some Philly cheesesteak sloppy joes on Wednesday. So I already have a bag of the Philly cheesesteak sloppy joe mix that I've made before. That's in the freezer. I'll just defrost that, serve it with some chips and a salad, of course, on buns. And then I wanna make some stir fry on Thursday. So the spaghetti that I make on Monday, I'll make sure I make a double batch of that so I have enough pasta to use on Thursday. And then I'll just have some chicken that's already cooked in the freezer. The pot stickers are already done. Those are in the freezer. So. Use some of those vegetables I just bought. It'd be super easy. Super quick meal. 
Friday, I'm going to use that pork that I do in the pressure cooker that I will use for the chimichangas. I'm going to use that for some barbecue sandwiches, serve that with some chips, a side salad, and then Saturday, we'll probably be doing some takeout. We've got a busy week up ahead of us, so quick and easy is the name of the game this week. Of course, make sure that I keep notes of what I need to get done so I don't forget, and that will do it for us. Hopefully, this video gave you some inspiration, and of course, until the next one, I will see you in the comments.